How's it going gamers? As you might know already, there's some very interesting and relevant and worth talking about drama from iDubs going on on the YouTube and Twitter circles right now. And I figured I'd throw my hat in the ring just to start some discussion about it. I'm gonna keep talking about the actual drama to a brief minimum as much as I can because I feel like everything that can be said has been said. And honestly, it's really not fucking drama. I think that anyone with literally half a brain cell can decipher that what Ian and his girlfriend decide to do with their lives affects Ian's content in no way, shape, or form whatsoever. For the uninformed, Ian's girlfriend started an OnlyFans account, and Ian was okay with it? What? <laughs> and a lot of people were like, well, I personally, I don't think I'd be comfortable with that if it was my girlfriend, and that's like a perfectly reasonable stance to have. That's totally valid to think that. However, there is a very vocal and smaller group of incels that are very mad. This group of people thought that it would be socially acceptable and alright if they decided to rage their fucking brains out over the situation like they had any stakes in the decision at all. It boggles my mind that there are people out there that stan iDub so hard that they think that they, that they are a part of this decision of his life. That they think that they have any say or any right to judge Ian based on this decision is so absurd because it is a very personal decision. Internet culture is at a point where celebrities and YouTubers are seen as this larger than life figure and it's like absurdly unhealthy. People are screaming words like cuck and simp from the rooftops of Twitter at Ian thinking that it will matter at all, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. And they're doing this because they're trying to cancel him based off of his girlfriend's OnlyFans account. But that's what I'm here to actually talk to you about today is the memings of the word Stan, Simp, and Cancel. What exactly is a Stan? Well, in most contexts that I see it used, it's a term to describe a very diehard fan. But in truth, it means a little bit more than that. If you don't know, the term originates from the Eminem song Stan, and it's a song about a crazy obsessed fan who ends up killing himself when he doesn't receive the attention that he craves from his idol Eminem. The song is about what kind of fan not to be. Eminem's trying to shine light on this issue of crazy obsessed fans, Eminem has many, many, many fans, and he cannot respond to every single letter that he gets sent in a timely manner, and some people might take that the wrong way and fucking drive off a bridge. And I totally understand why people would want a celebrity's attention like that. Like, I'm subscribed to people on Twitch because when they read out my name, I go, hee hee, he said my name, that's so cool, you know? Like, I understand the feeling. But being a stan is not something that anyone should want Ever. The fact that people on Twitter can proudly proclaim that they stan someone or have profile pictures dedicated to the person that they are standing and say things like, Yas, we stan! It's just, it's insane to me. It doesn't make any sense. That level of obsession isn't healthy to look at anything that way. Even people that you know personally, even things and objects. Fandom is not is not good in that way at all. In the video, Ian straight up says that people idolize him and that he does not want that. If you don't want to look up to me anymore, that's fine. I don't want you to look up to me. And I honestly wish that more public figures would take this stance because I think it's super important. People that are YouTubers and celebrities and actors are all just that. They're all just people. And I don't think you should really look at them as more than that. That goes for everyone from me to George motherfucking Clooney. People have been calling Ian a simp, a cuck, a dummy, a stinky poo poo head, any fucking name you can think of. I'm sure he's been called it in the last couple days. And honestly, there are ways to do this in a fun, silly, comedic, meme way. Making jokes and laughing about it. But there is an amount of people that are saying this shit seriously. Like they seriously are mad and they're using simp as a fucking term to try and hurt his feelings genuinely. What? <laughs> Personally, I fucking hate the term simp to begin with. I think every fucking term Twitter has ever came up with is fucking bullshit and should have been left in the goddamn gutter where it belongs. But I do understand that the word has a very specific meaning and that it has its uses. That meaning is to describe an individual, usually a male, that is being nice to a woman with the sole purpose of wanting to fuck said woman. What a simp is not is someone that is nice to women in a relationship, or is someone that thinks their girlfriend can have an OnlyFans account. 
It's just not what it is. Now go ahead and leave a comment in my comment section calling me a simp for that take, because I know you want to do it. Just go get it over with already, please. <laughs> but why exactly is the internet collectively reading over this fucking situation like it's the end of the world? And to be clear, I mean the vocal minority in this situation. Hopefully the vocal minority. And truthfully, the answer, I, I have no fucking clue. But they call him a simp and a cuck with purpose, with malice, to attempt to cancel his entire career. And I leave to you a question. Should Ian be canceled over this? I'll, I'll wait. Did you did you come to the same conclusion I did? Because I hope so. Absolutely not. <laughs> that is an absolutely insane opinion. And honestly, if you think that, then you're an absolutely bo poopy butthole, dummy, stinky person who thinks that he has a connection to a person that they've never met that gives him some sort of control over that person's life, which is just not the fucking case. Cancel culture, I will admit, can have its benefits, but I truly believe that before you get to that point, you should take a deep, hard think inwards, look at all of the facts from every goddamn side, and make sure you do some critical thinking. I know that might be a little hard in this day and age. You might have to dust off your wrinkly brain and put it to use. That might be a little new to some of you, but it has to be done before we even think about using the word cancel at all. Because that shit can be truly goddamn damaging to a career. If you look at James Charles, he's bounced back because he's such a big fucking figure. But if he was a little bit smaller and that drama had hit and he hadn't had the, the big fucking following to be able to defend himself, he could have been really fucked. And of course, Ian is also in a spot where I'm certain that he'll bounce back and like, this is not actually fucking drama. And at the end of the week, no one's gonna give a flying fuck about this. I just wanted to use it as an excuse to express some my opinions on the Twitter bullshit that goes on every fucking day because I think it's exactly that, Twitter bullshit. I think that really what people are upset about is the fact that Ian doesn't have his own OnlyFans account. People wanted to see that goddamn dumpy. <laughs> Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, even in the slightest, it helps me out a ton. Leave a comment telling me that I'm a simp or something along those lines. You could just tell me that you agree, tell me that you disagree, tell me why. We start a conversation, that's why I make these videos. For the most part, it's because I want to hear what you guys have to say about the things that I have to say. It's a good way to be social in this social distancing time. Another good way to be social in this social distancing time is to maybe click on another one of my videos. There, there's an amount of them now. They're all pretty fun and good, and I think that I, I put in the effort, and I think that they're quality videos. Maybe go look at them. That'd be great. Thank you very much. I love you all. Um, be safe. Don't go outside. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face like this. This is bad. Don't do this. This is all negative. <laughs> okay, bye.